I think it's such a touching tribute to a family dog that's passed away. And I think you do it in a way that's, um, you know, it tells their story, both the family and the dogs and, and growing up together. And there's this real emotional pull and emotional connection. And you really heighten that through the use of these home videos um, and different, uh, you know, not so much film making methods with different uh, moments that you captured with this dog. Um, it's a really touching highlight to its life um, and, and its impact on the family and, and moving forward, knowing that love, that loss, but ultimately going back to that love. It's a really touching piece. Appreciation for a relationship between humans and their pets and really bringing out the personality of Kenya and this relationship is just a uh, immense bond between the two. I mean, they've been a pairing for over 15 years. You build a lot of memories in that amount of time. And it's a form of unconditional love and emotional support that you see not only brought to her, but to the other people in the in the documentary as well, whether it be her husband, who pretty much had always been brought along in addition to their journey together. Um, you know, you really get to see the impact that uh, an animal makes and the genuine love connection that comes with that. And it's also about coming to terms with grief. You know, we get to see our leading lady here, you know, pretty much cope with the death of her father and the impending, you know, inevitability of the loss of Kenya as well. You kind of get to see pretty early on at the beginning of the documentary, you know, it kind of alludes to the, uh, to Kenya's fate as they do speak in past tense. So you kind of are kind of prepared for that in the beginning, but you really get to just be brought along this journey with them. And it's quite a beautiful uh, ode, a eulogy to um, share the love that they had. So I really, really loved this because it really highlighted and showed the seriousness of how much animals are a part of your family, but also acknowledging the real real hardship of and the, the 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 difficulty of making medical decisions making end of life decisions for an animal especially when you you know you can't talk to them necessarily you don't know 100% like oh are they are they ready to go are they you know wanting to move on or wanting to you know have their time and say goodbye so I really loved this. Um, I, I have been through this more than once myself uh, with a family pet and then a, you know, personal uh, pet that uh, me and my, my roommate at the time had um, adopted. So I, I acknowledge how, how hard and, you know, the struggle that comes along with this. It's highly emotional and somehow triggering for anyone that has loved and lost a pet companion. The clinging to their unconditional presence and the idea of extending their lives. And for this dog in his 16th birthday, such an intense love turned into torture. It is a good recount of how this person exhausted a very sick dog and I understand this and the husband being able unable to bring this person to a reality in a very hurtful grieving process. The contrast with the dad's story was so compelling too and very insightful. Beautiful shots of Kenya through their their lives and all the adventures and all the places they visited. The music score is great looking at Kenya's later days and the best part is the legacy, the chapel. Very emotional. To have dedicated an entire uh, 30 plus minute short film to this dog uh, just speaks volumes about uh, the amount of uh, love and care he was surrounded by, which, you know, if that wasn't enough, just watch the film, of course. Um, that connection is beautiful. It was just beautiful to watch and, and see and be a part of um, really the whole the whole piece was just uh, really thoughtfully constructed. 
um, you kind of, you know, you get, you get the whole story from, from beginning to end. And I think it probably really does a lot of, you know, justice to uh, Kenya's character because uh, he did seem like an absolute sweetheart. Um, and, you know, this just shines such a, just a beautiful, touching light on uh, the, the life of a dog that is that cherished. The interviews of the dog owners in the film were so candid, intimate, and honest. The footage of the dog over the years was lovely. I notably love the close-ups of Kenya's sweet face. I also really appreciated how this film addresses the death of the dog owner's beloved father, along with the death of Kenya. So many adorable home movies and photos of her childhood with her dad and family. The editing of the film was excellent, notably when you hear conversations from various people with different views about how to deal with the ill dog. The soulful music in the film of cello and piano really heightened the dramatic quality of the film. I think it's a very important film, dealing with and accepting death as a part of life.